Hey guys, it's Shane from Jake's Journeys. I'm back today at Dreamworld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Here today to give you another weekly Rivertown construction update. Also staying for the night markets. I'm going to check out the Impact Pro Wrestling here that's on tonight. It's a separate ticketed event, so uh, it's not part of the night market entry. It is separate entry, but we're also going to go and check that out and bring you along as well. Anyway, let's go and check it out now. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Made into Dream World, and I'm going to start this week's Rivertown construction update uh, down by the motor coaster site, and then we'll walk our way around to the Tiger Island site. I gotta tell you, it's actually pretty busy here at Dream World. Uh, pretty much every weekend I come here, it's uh, just getting busier and busier, which is really good to see. Well, from this front end, and again, this is essentially the entry to Rivertown, and Marasipi mode is mostly, and not too much change that I can see this week from this angle. I'm sure, again, like I've said before, most of the work's happening down the far end, which is where the Jungle Rush roller coaster's getting constructed. So uh, we'll head around and see what we can see further around the precinct. It does maybe look like they've done a little bit of work uh, to the area in front of the tree, which I think is where the plane is going to go, um, possibly. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll get further around and check it out. By the way guys, uh, Dreamworld Street Food Festival is actually coming back here from the 6th to the 21st of April. So make sure you come down to Dreamworld to check out all the awesome foods they're gonna have at the Street Food Festival. Uh, we've done it in years gone by and it's pretty awesome. All right, so we're looking from a Tiger Island end, uh, from above, and geez, I tell you what, so much more progress in another week. More footings, more concrete footings have appeared. Uh, definitely a lot more, I guess, of the metal work. Uh, is it called Rio? I think before, for more concreting to go down. It's definitely shaping up. You can start to see the more shaping happening of the area. So we're going to go down and have another look closer from the other side of the fence. Well, from down this level, you can really see the progress, uh, particularly in all of the concreting and the footers. There's a lot more of that um, that Rio down there ready for more concreting. Uh, you can see where there's some more footing going to go through there. Um, yeah, so obviously this is powering ahead down at this end which is exciting because, uh, yeah, obviously this is where most of the work is happening, particularly on the Jungle Rush. You can literally see that whole area taking shape and uh, obviously you can see, you know, from this shaded area to the whole of Rivertown, uh, but you can sort of make out now when you're looking at Rivertown, uh, the construction, you know, where a lot of that is sort of positioned, which is exciting. So I'll just head down to the other side where the Billabong restaurant is. We'll see if we can see anything different looking across from that angle. Now you can definitely see a little bit more difference on this side, uh, more so with some of the maybe the concreting there with the retaining walls and um, even just some of the uh, edging down here. Looking a little different and some work they've done up here. It's definitely progressing week to week and uh, it's exciting to see how much change is actually happening. And again, the Jungle Rush roller coaster is going to be um, quite unique with the um, ability to go forwards and backwards and also the inclined turntable on there as well. Um, not only that, there's, there's going to be dedicated show moments within the ride and about 12 airtime moments. So all in all, it's going to be it's just going to be an excellent roller coaster, a great family coaster, um, but I think it'll be one that uh, people will definitely want to come to Australia and ride here at Dreamworld 
And again, the theming, they're spending $35 million on the Jungle Rush roller coaster. And a lot of that is uh, in the theming as well. So it's just definitely gonna be next level. We absolutely cannot wait to ride Jungle Rush and see the whole of Rivertown, including Marisipi Motors, open at the back end of 2024. And as we mentioned uh, a week or so ago, uh, we believe the Billabong restaurant here will be getting re-themed uh, and there'll be food offering in there. May not necessarily be a buffet again, but uh, should definitely be some kind of food offerings in there uh, to service Rivertown and of course the back end of the park as well. And once again, we're very, very excited. We cannot wait for Rivertown to be uh, completed and particularly the Jungle Rush roller coaster. Not sure if the roller coaster is uh, on site yet. I'd say probably not. As soon as we know anything more, we'll share it with you. By the way, the vintage cars at this point in time are still scheduled to reopen on April the 27th. But if anything changes there, we'll definitely let you know. All right, so this is where you'll find the Impact Pro Wrestling Australia event tonight at Dreamworld in the Exhibition Centre here. And I tell you what, this is going to be an awesome event. Again, this is a one night only and a separate ticketed event. Uh, but definitely check out Dreamworld's Facebook page because they regularly have uh, additional events like this uh, advertised on there and they also advertise uh, what's happening at each of the uh, night market uh, events every Friday, Saturday night here at Dreamworld. So make sure you check their Facebook page out for Dreamworld Night Markets. And yeah, if you haven't already seen the Impact Pro Wrestling Australia, make sure you check them out as well. Um, follow them on their social media and uh, yeah, uh, try and get to one of their events. Definitely looking forward to this tonight. By the way guys, the uh, Shockwave here at Dreamworld is down for maintenance at the moment but will be reopened again from the 19th of March. Don't forget guys, the uh, Dreamworld night markets are on every Friday and Saturday night here at Dreamworld. Uh, so it's $2 entry if you're not a pass holder, but if you are a pass holder, it's a free entry. And they got food trucks in here. It's on from like 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. If you're already in the park though, during the day, you can just get to stay through as well. There's always a good selection of food trucks here every night. And they do have additional events like tonight. They're having the wrestling here tonight. Uh, this is a separate ticketed event for this wrestling though. Uh, quite often they will have events here though that, that are included and sometimes they'll have events like this that are not included that are separate ticketed events and they just host the venue. But anyway, we are definitely looking forward to seeing the wrestling here tonight at the Dreamworld Night Markets. All right, so let's go and check out some of the food trucks that are here tonight for the Dreamworld Night Food Markets and then we'll head on into the wrestling. Hey, this is a different truck I haven't seen before, Mr. Mooberry Real Fruit Ice Cream. Uh, this looks really uh, delicious actually, the milkshakes and spiders and desserts as well. So maybe check them out here at uh, Dreamworld Night Markets. And of course the uh, Bubbo desserts is always a favourite of ours as well. And here's another delicious food option here at Dreamworld Night Food Markets. Check this out, Hungarian Langos. Looks absolutely delicious and a great selection of food there as well. And it was like a little charcoal barbecue there tonight. I haven't seen this one here before either. And yes, this is definitely one of my favorites, the Yumpling Dumplings, uh, voted number one in the Gold Coast for best dumplings. Uh, I tell you, I definitely, even when I have other foods, I always still have the dumplings as well. Definitely a good option here at the Dreamworld Night Food Market. And of course there's always different kinds of live music here at the Dreamworld Night Market and this will definitely change from week to week. And they have a cocktail bar here as well. $15 you can get yourself a cocktail here. And obviously we've got the Charis stand currently here while they're doing renovations uh, on the Charis stand and Dreamworld buildings for a couple of weeks. And we've got some Mexican street food as well. Make sure you check out these guys at the Nine Markets Poncho Mexican Street Food. I've had this before and it's absolutely awesome. So it's definitely good to see a couple of different stands here at the Nine Markets that I haven't seen before so they do regularly 
change out some of their food vendors uh, every night here. So there's always something different to try here at Dream World Night Market. And this is another one that's always a favourite. And Native Flavours is back, and I tell you what, the honey they do here for $15 is absolutely delicious. They've also got the fry bread, raw fish, steam pudding as well. And the Dreamville Flyer is also open for the night markets, and if you're an annual pass holder, free to ride, but if you're not an annual pass holder, it's $10 to ride, and also the Dodgems are open as well, they're $10 to ride, or you can buy a pass that you can ride both of them for $15. I tell you what, it's getting really busy here at the Dreamworld Night Markets. Uh, it's approaching uh, about quarter to six. I think the wrestling starts, or well, opens at six, I think, for a 6.30 start. So uh, we'll head down that way. But yeah, everyone's grabbing dinner. Lots of different food trucks here tonight as well. All right, so it's now time for the IPW Live Pro Wrestling. We're going to head down to the Dreamworld Convention Centre and check it all out. Let's go. All right, so there is a huge queue to get into the wrestling tonight here at Dreamworld. And it looks like this is a very, very busy evening here for the wrestling. And again, separate, uh, separate ticketed event. So I believe they have sold hundreds and hundreds of tickets for this event. So this should be very exciting tonight. Hey guys, check out the arena in here that they've set up for the wrestling. This is pretty cool. You've actually got the uh, wrestling arena in the middle of all the seats. So everyone gets a really good view of what's happening tonight. And again, they do an awesome job here at the uh, Dreamworld Convention Center of setting this up. So lots of different events in here. And there's the ring right in the middle. I tell you what, this is gonna be unreal. I tell you what, it's really starting to fill up now and it's getting close to starting time. And uh, again, I reckon there's about over 400 people being here tonight. So uh, this is gonna be an awesome event tonight for the Impact Pro Wrestling Australia. And uh, yeah, being held here at Dreamworld, this is awesome.
Squad Squad Championship picture with yours and I get an IPW. Oh, you Jesse Love just got the work in the corner. This is Ryan. Oh, it's all right.
you are, you are. Each of these women have a chance of walking out as women's champion here in IPW. Oh, 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 oh. This is not happening in the world. What a name that was to Morgan Fry. I think, you, I think Morgan Fry's nose might be at the back of the head now. Wow. Eugenie says, what's this? Not suplex. What's the group of the end? Try to be a proper wrestling match. A proper winner's match. It's in the future for you.
Hey guys, they also have uh, IPW merch available here when you come to watch the wrestling and uh, definitely come and support these guys and buy some merch as well. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, that's going to do it for my look today here at uh, Dream World Theme Park. I hope you enjoyed the Rivertown uh, construction update. Lots of stuff happening there, of course. Uh, we'll provide you uh, weekly updates there as well. And I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, Impact Pro Wrestling tonight. Uh, it was an awesome show. I tell you what, uh, really enjoyed it. And they're going to be back here on the 20th of April. So if you missed out tonight, make sure you get online, uh, go to Dream World Night Market Facebook, and follow the link and book your tickets to this event. It is awesome. Uh, it's definitely an awesome night out. So um, yeah, can't rave about it enough. Make sure you check it out. Anyway, if you do like this kind of theme park uh, content, please make sure you subscribe for more keeps the journey going as well uh, make sure you give the video a like that'd be greatly appreciated anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next journey